Okay, so welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure business rules along with conditions and actions. So we did not discuss about the conditions and actions. So let's talk about that. So, so the first condition is if or else. So perform a particular action if the condition is this, else perform second action, right? So you can put that if else condition and also under rules, you have and or options right so you need to define the rules so that it should execute and you can filter out so that you can define under rules so these are the conditions and let's talk about actions so we have discussed that previously it's recommendation lock unlock show error message set field value set business required and set visibility right so these are the actions available so let's explore the business rules in dynamics 365 so here i'm in dynamics 365 i have opened the same business rule which i closed earlier right in the previous video so currently by default we have a condition right so we are doing it for account so uh, by default the entity would be account right and uh, we have seen the top view where we can save it we can validate it um, and we can put the description so let's talk about the area where we actually define the condition so let's first see what are the different components available the first kind of component is available in the terms of flow which is a condition okay so this is also a condition by default we start with this and you can also have different conditions we'll look into that and then you have these actions okay so it's very simple you can just drag and drop and you can do that so by default when you click on this you have option to display so let's take an example that we want to make account number mandatory if the particular field is filled or if you have selected like industry as uh, some specific industry okay so we'll talk about that so here you can define the rules uh, let's give it a name so check condition of industry okay so here you can see that it's account entity and the source is available so source is either it can be an entity right the source is entity or the source can be a business process so business process we have not discussed so far but uh, in the business process you can see that it basically give you a step-by-step -step process for users to go through a particular step-by-step -step process I would say that it's a process that a user need to go through to complete the process okay so you can select that whether it's a business uh, process name or stage category if it's a stage category then you can see that do you want to do it for selected stage or active stage okay it should be equal to then you need to select the value for example qualify so if the business process stage is qualify then you can just apply and then you can define that what should happen okay uh, so you can just click apply and it is going to give you this option here right but for now we don't want to use business process flows um, you can do that later for now i'm just going to use entity so we'll select the entity and the current entity is account so it shows all the fields of the account so here we'll select industry it's there industry and the condition is if the industry equals or i would say like contains data like any value that you select it can work right but for example let's say if the account industry is equals to accounting i'll just apply this now so now the setting has been done right this rule has been done or if i want that another rule i want to define then i can click on plus new it will add another rule so the same thing i will put here industry equals particular value say agriculture right and the logic i want to put between these two rules is or it means whether the industry is accounting or industry is agriculture then this condition will become true okay so when i click apply uh, here you can see this in the text format you can see that industry equals accounting or industry equals this if then perform some action so that action we are going to choose now so for this we'll go to components and we want to do like we want to first show an error message okay so i'll just drag this to the plus sign you can drag it anywhere you want what do you see on the right hand side here it's right means yes the condition has met if the condition has not met then it's cross okay you can drag it here so for now i'm just going to select on the right hand side show error message so i will just say uh, 
you must enter account number now this is just for an example i'm giving it's not an ideal one but you can always change it and you can put it as per your requirement so the field is account number and here i can give it a message make sure you enter the account number okay so here you can just put it and then you don't forget to click apply if you don't apply then it is not going to be applicable so here it becomes very simple if the industry equals to this or this then show the error message this right so this is the condition and when the condition meets it goes to this one if the condition doesn't meet then what we can do is like we can just say set field value okay let's just for an example if condition did not meet then set the field value set account number to an a or not applicable so i will select the account number and i want to put it as a field value the value is not applicable okay it's very simple i'll just click apply so what it does it says that if the industry is this then perform this operation or else it means if this condition meets perform this action then otherwise perform this action right so you can see that in the text view and you can also see in the graphical view right so you just apply it and we go here then again if you want to add new things to it like you set the account number to na and uh, you can say like make any field mandatory okay so i can just drag it again here i can select i can make any field like uh, uh, let me just see which one i'll say email business required okay so i'll just put make email business required now this is just again i'm doing it for examples just to show you the ideas but uh, you can do it in a more meaningful manner right uh, you can also put the condition so you can just drag it and you can put it here so you can have like if it happens then this no then again it, it's gonna check a condition and there if the condition is true then it is going to display it make this section work for now i'm just gonna select and delete because i don't want to put it too complicated for explanation so that's the only thing we will do uh, and let's let's see how it works so after you have set up this particular uh, uh, condition what you need to do is just click validate and you see that validation is successful it means there is no error so all you can do is just click save it has been saved and now you can click on activate to make it work so click activate okay so it is it is almost activated and when the activation is complete you will see the status of this business process flow as active okay so just click activate and this has been done so you can see that activate status is activated uh, if in case if you want to deactivate you can do that here all right so let's uh, try this uh, functionality and let's create a new record for this and one more important thing you need to understand that for the business rules to work all the fields that you have defined in the conditions in uh, the business rules should be available on the form if it's not available then it is not going to execute so let me just show you that once so i'll just give it a name online oct private limited okay and i'm just going to save this and let's select the industry as accounting you can see that it did not execute anything it did not give error because we did not have one field called email on this particular form right if it's not there then the business pro business rule will not work so let's go to the form and let's add that email field which is mandatory which is required in our business rule so i will go here email i will drag drop to just below this account number save it and then i'm going to publish it okay it has been published let's refresh this particular record and here you can see as soon as the form is loaded it means on form load you can see this error message has come on the account number field so it says make sure you enter the account number right that something is an error message if you select something else for example brokers then you can see that email has become mandatory and the account number 
has been set up as not applicable so you can try this again you can check it okay by default it doesn't remove this not applicable so we can do this kind of condition in the business rule so for example we go to the business rule and we deactivate it okay as soon as this condition meets then show error message and set the value of this not applicable by default so it should become blank right so i'm just going to copy this select this particular uh, component copy this and just click paste here so it has come so you just need to click paste and then it shows the way exactly you want here you can do so here i'm going to select this particular component and i'll just put this as a blank okay and value as nothing so I'll just put apply right so this has been done let's click save okay there was some error it says you need to enter some value okay it cannot be null so I'll just put like blank as the value okay or I can just put clear as the as a type so we have this option available we can just clear the field so it will clear the field let's click apply and let's validate so validation is successful let's click save and let's activate it again activate okay so this has been activated let's go back here and let's refresh this page and here you can see that it's accounting currently so we've got the error and the email is not mandatory let's select some other like brokers you can see the broker the email became mandatory if you try to save it it is going to give error that you need to enter the email address and the account number is not applicable let's select back to uh, accounting you can see that this field has become blank okay we get the error and also currently this is there so similarly one more condition one more section we can add that make a email not mandatory okay so what you can do is you can go here you can define that you have make email mandatory so i can just copy this paste it here after that and then it will say that make email not mandatory right so like this you can define and you can set your business rules based on your requirements right so this is how it works if you have any questions i want you to to try this uh, and see different options make some combinations and if you face any problem let me know i would love to help so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video tutorial